Hi, everybody. Uh, today, we're going to go through the process of importing your GitHub account into Zum. All right. So when you're on your GitHub account, this is assuming that you've already set one up. You'll notice that this account hasn't fully been set up or enabled as of yet, but that shouldn't matter for the example here. What we're going to see is that on our main page, we'll see our account balance and so forth, transactions and advanced. So if you go ahead and click advanced here, it's going to show your address, the date you created it and so forth. And then if we scroll down to the XRPL settings here, we're going to see this option called secret key enabled. So if we click the little eyeball here, it's going to ask us for our password. So if we go ahead and put in our password here and unlock, it's going to give us this warning. Do not share your secret key with anyone and store it safely offline. GitHub will never ask you for your secret key for any purpose. So we click that we understand that the secret key is a very sensitive piece of information, i.e. your secret key is the key to the kingdom. Somebody gets a hold of this, they have access to your account and they can take all your funds. Do not, I repeat, do not ever, ever give anybody your secret key, your recovery words, your 12, 24 word mnemonic, or your, uh, even if in some, your eight groups of six numbers, those are your recovery keys. Do not ever give that information to anybody. Anybody asking for it, assume that they are a scammer and they are trying to steal your funds. So, at this point, what we will do is go ahead and hit confirm. And now at this point, if you have two-factor authentication enabled, which I strongly suggest when it comes to any platform, any exchange, that you do have it enabled there. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our multi-factor authentication key, which is then gonna show us here our secret key. Now this secret key, is starting with the letter S. This is also known as a family seed. So and then what we would do is go ahead and open up Zum. So once we have Zum opened, when in the top right-hand corner, you'd go ahead and hit switch account. And then you'll see an option where it says add account. So if you go ahead and tap add account, you're gonna see a new page here. And then on that page, uh, you'll see the option here of create a new account, import an existing account, or add a tangent card. At this point, what we're going to do is hit import an existing account and we're going to give it full access because odds are you're going to want to trade with this. Giving an account full access gives you full signing authority over the account to send, receive transactions, sign requests like adding trust lines and so forth like that. If you set it as a read only account, you'll still import the account, but it will be only able to view the balance and receive transactions. So now there is a option that if you do set it as read only, you can upgrade it later on to a full access, but that will require a couple extra steps. So for this example, we'll just go ahead and hit full access, and then we'll tap on family seed. And then what we want to do is go ahead and enter that secret key there. Now, again, we're going to go ahead and enter this here. But we want to make sure that, again, we never, ever give out this secret key. This is the keys to your kingdom, so to speak. Again, if anybody gets a hold of this, they are fully able to go through and basically take all your funds. So once you've gone ahead and entered your secret key here, there we go. should be able to go ahead and hit next. And it's gonna confirm the address there. So you just wanna go back up and double check the address looks correct, which for me, that does look correct. So I'm gonna go through next. And so it says here, because I did as I mentioned in the very beginning there, uh, this account hasn't actually been activated yet. yet. So we do see disabled wallet and then I need to deposit 20 XRP to get started. 
that's okay. So in Zoom, we also see that activation message here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit, yes, I understand. And then I'm gonna, for this example, use extra security, sign in with password. Now, at this point, you'll go ahead and put in a password. And you wanna make sure it's a very strong password. The stronger it is, the better it is, obviously. And then you'll go ahead and confirm that password and then go ahead and hit next. So the next step, you'll be offered to set a label on the account. So you go ahead and for me, I'm just gonna say GitHub because it makes sense. So there we go, hooray, let's go. Our account import has been completed. So now I've officially imported my GitHub account into Sum. And that there is the import process. Now this gives you a lot of great benefits as you're able to basically deposit your USD or Euros or whichever case and have direct access to it in Sum, right? So if you were to send a SWIFT payment or so forth, and the payment gets deposited to your GitHub account, you'll then be issued the USD IOU if you're depositing US dollars. With that being said, as soon as that's deposited and you have your USD IOU, you can go ahead right away and either in Zom or on GitHub, go ahead and hit trade. Or in Zom, you can go ahead and hit exchange and trade for XRP or other assets there. If you do have any questions, I am available on Twitter via at CodeWord1, or I'm also available in the Casino Coin Discord. Alrighty, thank you very much, and I hope you found this helpful.